Cordain, who's a professor here in Colorado, and I was reading Lauren Cordain's work back in the 90s, and, and I, he was right on with paleo, the idea that we eat like our, we should be eating like our caveman ancestors, but then it got corrupted. And nowadays, paleo cookies and paleo flour and paleo marshmallows and paleo brownies, and you know, your paleo ancestors didn't eat paleo brownies, all right? So paleo's a scam. It has now devolved into scammery. But ketogenic, that's science. And the ketogenic diet yeah, is a low sugar, low, uh, zero or low car refined sugar. Sugar's carbohydrates from veggies, of course, are going to be important. But, but low refined sugar, high protein, high fat. They say moderate protein. I say high protein. So I modify it a little bit. But for Alzheimer's disease, for anxiety issues, for, for hormone issues, for zits, for, for psoriasis, for almost everything, the ketogenic diet is beneficial. It's how we should be living, in my humble opinion. And, and uh, you know, you can read up a, a lot about it. There's a lot of information now about Alzheimer's disease in the ketogenic diet because the ketogenic diet is low sugar, basically. So, anyway, uh, does that help you, Colin? That does. That All right, does. Good. Yeah, All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm overweight, and I'm really trying to find... Ketogenic diet. Go ketogenic, bro. You'll lose weight. Within days, you'll start to lose weight. Wow, thanks, brother. All right, man. Be good. Have a good day. Good to talk to you. Thank you for sharing. All right, Bob in Ohio, welcome to the bright side. What's up, man? I got a question for you about chronic degenerative diseases. Yes, general theory uh, question, or for you, or for a friend, or what's up? Well, yeah, it's for me, and you know, I have family members that have chronic degenerative diseases, mainly uh, multiple sclerosis. Okay. Uh, I came across a professor in California named Garth Nicholson. Okay. I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. I'm but, not, uh, no. What, what do you mean by professor? Like a university professor, a researcher? Yeah, uh, both. He's been in and out. Uh, he actually did research on Gulf War Syndrome. A Garth Williamson? Garth, uh, Garth Nicholson. Nicholson. Okay, and he, he's a PTSD guy? Uh, he's a or Gulf War syndrome. I see. Is that yeah. like the vaccination deal where they come back with the with the weird diseases and the rashes and stuff? Yeah, that. And uh, I mean, he's gone into the realm of multiple sclerosis and many okay. other, you know, Parkinson's stuff like that. And what he's talking about is a lot of these diseases are starting on an intracellular level, and these diseases are actually. Maybe a bacterial infection or a Well, that's where he infection. goes into doctor talk. Yes, he's yeah, right about yeah. the cell. He's right yeah. about the cell, but then he goes into doctor talk. Oh, it's, yeah. the, it's the germs. It's the bacteria. Now, I'm not saying mycoplasma and bacteria and funguses, they're not involved. They clearly are. But when you have this attitude like I've been attacked by a germ, you lose your power. You see yeah. what I'm saying? You, yeah. you, you, well, you he give, says... Uh, uh, Start out with an antibiotic. Which yeah, well, you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, you can tell right away that he's a doctor. So here's the deal: he's right about the cell. That's right. So he's on the right track. It's definitely about the cell. But then you start going into attack, you know, by outside forces. There is attack, of course, but by outside forces like bacteria and germs. Then you go into the realm of medicine, and all of a sudden you got to go to the doctor. What I'm telling you is, is this is in our control. Perhaps later on down the road, can't, uh, germs and, and bacteria become involved, but the, the premise here is that the body can handle all of these things when it's healthy. See what I'm saying? Yeah, the body yeah. is resistant. It has an immune system. It can take, with some exceptions, you know, you can be overwhelmed, obviously, but for the most part, we have an immune system that is intelligent, that learns, that is responsive to the environment, and that can take care of things. I don't know this guy, Garth Nicholson, but he sounds like an old-timer guy. Yeah, usually, he definitely is. <laughs> usually, they're old-timers that go with this idea, because this, the, this, the, this is how they were trained, and they have, you know, lots of years under their belt of doing this. So, well, are you familiar with lipid replacement therapy? Uh, no, actually not. Lipid replacement, I mean, I know, based on what it sounds like, I know what you're talking about, but I hadn't heard of that. What do you mean by lipid? We you, you do essential fats? You do fats? Yeah, uh, he formulated some organic pill or whatever that uh, helps replace lipids, apparently. Well, and, now, you now that's gobbledygook a little bit, okay? Lipids are fats. Yeah, lipids are fats, okay? That's just another word, way of saying fats. You don't replace them, but you keep them coming in your body through ultimate EFAs and ultimate EFA plus, fatty vitamins, vitamins D, E, A, K, or DEEK, 
and then uh, maybe some of the saturated fats that you, or the medium chain fats that you get from coconut oil. Uh, and then uh, things like digestive enzymes, bile, probiotics are very overlooked when it comes to lipids. I mean, he's on the right track. If he's talking yeah, I, lipids... He actually recommends uh, probiotics. And yeah, he's on the right track, this guy. If he's, talk, if he's talking lipids and he's talking cells, he's on the right track. In fact, interestingly, we've been talking lipids on the bright side, and we've been talking cells. So fats and cells are two major distinctions that we got to make if we're, if we're going to stay healthy. And so this guy, you know, he's not that far off. I, I don't like the notion of antibiotics, of course. Yeah, me neither. I actually put it into practice for the past six months with uh, the antibiotic, and then I do the an uh, 200 milligrams of the antibiotic. Which antibiotic are you taking, by the way? Doxycycline. Okay, well, that's, the, you know, in, in, another well, thing I they quit. teach... I <laughs> well, good for you, but here's the thing that Garth needs to understand, and doctors who keep you on an antibiotic for a long period understand have to understand. Bacteria mutate. They adjust. So when you keep somebody on a low level of antibiotic, that's like a formula for resistant bacteria, which we, is an, a major worldwide epidemic. So, mm -hmm. so not just Garth Nicholson, but other doctors have to recognize that you never put somebody on, and patients too, anybody out there listening, if, if you're on an antibiotic, a low-level antibiotic, it's a recipe for resistant bacteria, which is an awful, awful thing. So you, when you're taking an antibiotic, you want to take the entire course, and there are times when you need an antibiotic, you want to take the entire course, and you want a high enough dose that everything gets killed. You don't want to stop in the middle because the bacteria can mutate, and you don't want a low dose for a long period of time again because the bacteria can mutate. And it's interesting that Dr. Nicholson recommends antibiotics, but he also talks about probiotics. Is that right? Yeah, I know. He, he wants to replace the uh, gut flora. So you kill them and then you replace them? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, because it says it's so chronic that you've had it for so long that it actually, like let's take multiple sclerosis, for instance. You know how it gets the lesions in the brain? And he it, says he among other places. Yeah, well, he says this is all just a, a fact of a disease that, you know, or a bacterial infection, viral infection, or a fungal infection that is just prolonged for a long I am, time. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I'm saying it's yeah. an immune condition caused by something you're eating or something that's getting into your system that's activating the immune system, and the bacteria and the fungus are secondary. I got to move. Thank you so much, Bob, for your call. Right. Appreciate it. All right, all right that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Check out my... Uh, Check out my uh, website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com. And if you're inter interested in purchasing any of the truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. Bye for now.